Under Joshua's leadership, the people of God have now crossed through the Jordan River, miraculously. So you may ask, what's their next step? To finally begin conquering the land that God had promised them? The land they had longed for, for years? Well, not yet. We see in chapter four that God tells the people to build a memorial from 12 stones, taken from the river by one man from each of the 12 tribes. Now you may be wondering, why does God ask his people to do this? Aren't they ready to go and conquer the land? I mean, especially now that they've just witnessed God miraculously make a way for them through the Jordan River. Well, you see, God wasn't so much after workers and warriors as he was after worshipers. God wanted their hearts and their souls rooted in the reality that God was the one who would keep them provide for them, and guide them. And as this chapter closes, Joshua encourages the people that these memorial stones are to serve as a reminder of God's faithfulness, to teach their children. As he says in verse 24, he did this so all the nations of the earth might know that the Lord's hand is powerful, and so you might fear the Lord your God forever. You know, life can very easily become fast-paced and full. Let me encourage you to be intentional about something today. Today, take time to write and remember an example or a season in your life when God evidenced his power and his faithfulness in your life and share that with someone. If you have children in your home, this is a great opportunity to put Joshua 4 into practice as we remember the power and the faithfulness of our God.